All right, welcome to another gear review. This time we're actually gonna be talking about camping chairs. As you guys know, there's quite a bit of a, a big market for chairs, everything from Academy to like One Tigris, to REI, to Big Agnes. So what we have out here is a few examples of the differences in chairs that we typically see out when we camp. And with me today, I've got Ladybug and Dale, and we're gonna be talking about their, uh, their, their chairs. So Dale, let's start with you. Okay. So I know you've got the Big Agnes. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about this and kind of why you bought it, what your experience has been, all that good stuff? Uh, sure. Uh, the, the main one's portability, portability. You know, okay. uh, to be able to camp, pack it up and, and uh, not have it take up a lot of room because, as you know, those, those chairs over there, yeah. they just collapse inward and you've, they're about two, three feet long or two and a half feet long. This goes down into this nice little bag. Very just compact. just stick anywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's aluminum, so it's super light, you know, and it's got a back free headrest, which that's, I love. I, yeah, I do like that too. Now, it doesn't have armrest, but is, no. that, is that a problem? Not for me. Okay. Uh, do you people. miss not having a cup holder? No, no, okay. not at all. The only the only thing that I d don't like about it is because it's so light, it just tips over in the it wind. It tips over in yeah. the slightest wind. Yeah, but I noticed other, it didn't have any kind of wind breaking holes like to, to allow the wind to pass through it. So I know it's been falling over quite a bit out here with yeah. just a little bit of a breeze. But other than that, uh, it, everything's connected, so there's no like pieces missing. They're yeah, all, you don't have like, to assemble it like a yeah, Lego all, kit every time you want to use it. So okay. other than that, you know, it works pretty well. And okay. it's, now, have you ever fallen out of it? I have not. Okay. You know, it's, so pretty, it's pretty sturdy. Stable. Yeah. You know, you're not going to fall out, fall out of this one. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's pass the mic over to Ladybug. And Ladybug, I know we've had some interesting experiences with your chair, and uh, I do like the form factor. Uh, you know, but but tell us about your chair. Why you bought it? What you like about it? What you don't like about it? Yeah. And what same, your experience has been. Same thing. We have a bunch of these, and they're they're great. They're inexpensive. You can pick them up anywhere. Right. Um, they get they pack down very large and gangly, like he said. So they start taking up tons of room either on the on the rooftop of the the, the rig or inside. Uh, they are comfy. They've got armrests, which is nice. Um, they've got places for, you know, stuff. This one's got a neat little pocket here. You can yeah, a little cool insulated stuff. pocket. That's great. And, and beers. price point, like, what, 16 bucks? <laughs> yeah. So, it's really, yeah. But um, the other thing is, we, we were carrying these back and forth to uh, soccer practice with the kid and um, switched over to this guy. And it packs up this small, which is, it could be a little smaller. Also, there's this particular one has a cover right. that goes so on it. Yeah. So, like, if you're, if you're, you know, at a campsite at night and it's cold, um, that cover gives you some warmth, you know, for your for your back and stuff. So that's mm -hmm. cool. Um, so this, yeah, packs down really small. It's pretty light, and it's very comfortable. Same as uh, as, as that one. It's uh, these are all shock corded inside, so this comes out and folds over. So okay. you just open it up, shake it, and then hook everything up. A little bit of tension to get this on there, but once you figure it out, it's pretty. So fast there is some assembly simple. required, though. Yeah. It's, it, now is yours like that too? You have to yeah. place the chair on the frame once yeah. you get it built out. Okay, yeah. so that's that's not a. I mean, they it's, both have this it's similar. It's slower deal. than deploying this guy. Yeah. But once you do it about four or five times, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, super comfy. It's a comfy chair you can sit in. It's got some air holes in it, so yeah. it's a little bit less tippy, but yep. it's still very light, so it's going to fall. It does not have armrests, but there's actually something kind of cool about that. Is that if you're playing a guitar, this is this doesn't work. <laughs> if you're sitting here trying to play a guitar, right. you have no armrest. That's nice. Okay. So you know you might just need like I use this for my my end table, for the beverages and for all that stuff and the gear. So so uh, I know we've had some ejection experiences with yours over yeah. say the Big Agnes. You want you want to mm -hmm. tell the people about that? Well, you know? I mean, look at the footprint. It's pretty small, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, if if. If the bar is active, if it's an open bar situation, you know, I mean, you can end up, you know. Oh, yeah. So you see how easy to just it, it, lean back hard. and you end up almost falling out. And, you know, with the un unstable ground, you know, digging into the ground, if it's muddy, yeah. yeah, you can end up ejecting one way or the other. Luckily, it tends to not eject so bad to the front or over to the back. It's just when you go catch Usually corner. out to the side. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, uh, yeah. For those of you that remember, we uh, last year at TAO, uh, Ladybug decided to just fully eject from his chair. One minute he's there talking to us, the next minute he's slow mowing out the door. So it was, it was an unfortunate event. Pretty interesting. He blames the booze, but I don't think he was that hammered. So I don't know. No, the ground was pretty, pretty uh, unforgiving. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, right, let's talk price point, actually. Yes. Yeah. Important. Let's talk about these. I don't know. Yeah. Eight to 16 bucks on that. Yeah. One. Before we do that, let me, let me talk yeah. a little bit about okay. mine. Yeah, yeah. You've already kind of introduced this, but as you guys can see, I've got kind of the ghetto chair. And to me, as you can tell, when you're near fires long enough, you end up burning holes through it. I don't cry about that because this is such a cheap chair. You know, it's, it's really, I've got probably 50 of these. I'm sure everybody else does. They break down, they, they get destroyed, but you don't really worry about it. Now, honestly, there's a buy, cry, buy once, cry once model, right? Where you spend a little bit extra money, but you get a really good quality chair that's going to last forever. So your mileage may vary on your needs, but I've gone with these. Yeah, they are a little painful. They, they, they stack up long. You've got to find a place to put them compared to these. They're not as compact, but... 
Um, so this is the low end budget version. Like if you just don't care about chairs, that might be something you do. But the point of this video is really just to talk about the comparison of difference between $16 and as you mentioned, price point on REIs. 60 to 80, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, the, the Flex Light Camp Boss with the quilted uh, cover thing, I, I think it's, it's pushing 80. Yeah. So you can get them on sale, you whatever, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not 16 bucks. Yeah. But again, buy once, cry once, right? Chair. You've, you've got really a good like quality it. chair that you can actually backpack around and not worry about the weight being too much of a concern. So we're going on about a year with these, and okay. it's uh, uh, it's a it's a good chair. I don't think it's we'll held up a lot it. better than mine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's that's for sure. Good. Mm -hmm. So um, you want to pass the mic back to Dale, and we'll ask him about the big Agnes as far as like the price point, kind of you know if there's any any options. I know we have a, an option with the RAI. Is there anything extra that can be added to these chairs? Or I don't I don't think so. Okay, I so think they are just, as they are. They are as they are. That's uh, okay. I don't remember the price point. Let me, I'll have to look it up real quick. Okay. Well, no, no worries. I mean, I'm sure people can go online and look them up. Right. Um, would you right. say maybe roughly in the same kind of price point as REI? Or Probably. A maybe a okay. little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. All right. So yeah. not too bad. But anyway, um, that's been kind of a comparison of the types of chairs that you'll see out there. Like I said, we've got some you know, REIs, which are nice, low profile, you know, compact. You got your typical ghetto chairs like what we typically see out in the field, but just giving everybody a, an idea of kind of what's out there and um, kind of what's available to you. So thank you so much. Look forward to making the next video. Thanks.